This is the second part of video of the video um, for tapered roller bearings of how to install the race now properly, how to grease the bearings properly, and it set the preload. So I have my races nice and clean. So here's one here. This is the top one. Now, how do I know which way it goes in? Does it go this way, or does it go this way? Well, it's remember it's tapered here. All right, it's got a taper on the edge. So if I put it in the right way, I should be able to take this and it should drop right in like that. All right. If I have this race backwards, it won't fit. Okay. So when you put these in here, make sure it's facing the right way before you start tapping it in with the hammer and the punch. So make sure you can drop that in there and it does fit. If you put this in backwards and actually took the time to tap it all the way in, not only would that not fit, I won't be able to get that out either. You won't be able to get it out, I won't be able to get it out, and it's wrecked. Okay? So you, you'll fail and I'll get angry. <laughs> so, that's, so make sure it's facing the right direction. So put that in there. Yep, it fits. Okay, so there we go. So take your hammer and just tap it in until it's flush. It's going the right way, remember? Okay, then take your punch and little shots on each edge, back and forth. All right. Now, how are you going to know when it's all the way down? Then, once you get it started, you can do this. I'm going around. Sometimes it can be a little more difficult. All right, now how do I know when it's all the way down? There, will, there won't be any give. When I hit this, there, it'll bounce back at me as if it's like, like, boom. All right, as if there's nothing left to give. It'll be harsher. It's bouncing, the hammer's literally bouncing off the top of the punch and it, you can just feel the difference. So I know that's all the way in. Okay, so there we go. I had already cleaned out the hub that the race sits into and I had already made sure the race was nice and clean, washed off and dried. So how do we, the next step is uh, how do we grease these properly? So what you do, take your grease. This is in the yellow cabinet where the gasoline's kept. I know it looks gross. This is the grossest part of the job. Stick your finger in there like that. Grab a hunk of grease. All right, okay. Stick your finger over the back side there. All right, actually you can do it this way. We're gonna go with the big end. See, that's the big open end here versus that being the small end, like in terms of the opening. So there's the bigger end. So we wanna shove the grease through the big end backwards. So put your thumb over the top. You got a hunk of grease. And basically, you're not gonna smear it. You gotta get it into all these little passageways. So you come up at yourself like this. And what it's doing, it's pushing the grease into the little, into the opening there and shoving it up, shoving it through, shoving it through until you can see it come through on the top. There, see it coming through? Maybe you can't see it, but it's coming through, okay? Then turn, do the next spot. All right, grab a little more grease. Shove it through, make it come through. There we go. All right, it's all the way through, and then stick your finger there, get the excess, and go around once more, shoving it through. Now, what you're gonna do is take that and smear it over the top. So the smearing is the very last step. So smear it all over it, then take a little in your hand, be careful not to cut yourself, and smear it on the race. All right, there we go. All right, and you have to put grease also down into the hub underneath there. So fill that up too, like a smearing along the wall. Then you're going to set that in there. Just get rid of the excess there. Be careful. Go nice and slow so you don't cut yourself. Get rid of the excess. Take a rag. Wipe your hands all off nice and clean. Find a, find a bigger rag so you can really wipe your hands off good. All right, wipe them off. Now, we have to put... I've already done the backside, 
All right, in terms of um, the, uh, the bearing on the back, okay? But I want to show you how to put in the seal properly. You want to make sure it's not backwards when you put it in, okay? So this is the open end that goes inwards into the hub. This is the closed end. It's a closed on the top, and that's open. Open faces in. So just set it on top and tap it lightly back and forth until it's flush. Don't push it in any further than that. Just till it's flush on the top. And that is how you do that. Okay? So I got to steal that bearing back for here. All right. So there we go. Now, you've already wiped off the spindle. And you can take some grease and you can put a little film of grease along the spindle there. And then slide that on. Make sure it goes on nice and straight. There we go. Push the bearing down on there. Oh, there we go. Spin it. Make sure it's on all the way. Okay. Oops. There we go. Better make sure you can see that. All right. So it's on all the way. Spins nice. Put your washer on. Make sure it's on properly. Take the nut, spin the nut on till it's flush, bottoms out against the washer by hand. There we go. Okay, there we go. So that's as tight as I can get it by hand. Now, take your new cotter pin and see, does it line up to any of the openings? All right, no, not yet. Oh, no, not yet. So I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. All right, it's okay to snug up a little bit. You don't want to put this on here and like, Ugh! all right, you're going to over tighten it. And what that could do is do damage not only to, uh, it's going to put too much tension on the bearing and it could overheat. And that's a big issue. But if you have it too loose also, that's also an issue because, um, you don't want it too loose because then there's too much free play. All right, so there we go. All right, spins good. Yep. And then put the cotter pin through. Take your side cutting pliers. All right. And grab an edge. Bend it. I know this is, I'm kind of covering it up here. Bend it around. All right. You, want, you don't want there to be too much free play in here. So one end you can bend around that way. The other end you can either bend up and over or you can also bend that. So it's like this and then you got to bend it right over so it's not going to interfere with the cap. Alright, there we go. Make sure she's squished on there good. Alright, there we go. It's bent the two ears around or you can bend one around and one up and over but make sure it's not gonna come out and it's gonna stay flush all right there we go in fact I think what I want to do really quick is I do want to bend the one over the top so it, I'm gonna bend that up over the top there we go I like that better okay that's a t that's a better fit so there we go it's bent over the top the one edge and the other is bent sideways there. Now putting on the cap, hit it on the edge, not in the center. All right, because otherwise that's going to hit the nut. So hit it on the edge until it's on all the way. And there we go. That is the basics of uh, tapered roller bearings. So the key here is um, make sure everything's clean before you repack the bearings. Uh, make sure the uh, the the races are in properly and all the way down. Make sure the seal is in properly. Make sure the cotter pin is the new cotter pin is in properly. And uh, try not to get grease over anything other than what's supposed to have grease on it. Okay. And it does make a messy job. So this is one of those where you got to be ready to wipe down your tools afterwards, nice and clean before you put them away. Okay. And uh, before you put this cap on, make sure I see. Um, the uh, nut on there before you put the cap on. I need to see it, otherwise I'm going to make you take that back off. Okay? So there we are.
Any questions? No? Wonderful.